Ready, break. Hey. Hello. Hey, Drew. Cheers. Cheers to you as well. You have to turn down the volume on your shirt. I don't Drew. know what you're talking about. It's a bit loud. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kidding. It's fantastic. Yes. Um, <laughs> speaking of It's just black. Are you seeing something else? Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. I think I'm losing it. Mm. Um, but I'm actually just now noticing how appropriately themed your shirt is. Almost as if you planned it. Because we're talking about the Banu Supremes. And one's called the Nebula. Yes, it is. Uh, and uh, these are kind of interesting pens because they have an element of hand-paintedness to them. Yes. Um, and Banu was actually nice enough to send us a little bit of documentation on their process for how they actually make these pens. Which was surprising, because we knew an element of handwork went into them, which is sure, what kind of sure. drove the price up above the other Banus. But we right. never really knew exactly what was going on. And once we learned, we're like, well, there you have it. That's great. Well, like the other Banus have crazy patterns to it, but it's usually fairly uniform. Right. Or maybe it's like just on the end. But this is kind of just in the middle. Mm -hmm. So it looks very intentional. It's like, how do they do that? Well, it's very intentionally and hand applied. So the way that they do these pens is they um, essentially hand paint them. So they make the barrel of the pen first. Um, and it's a little bit thinner than it is now. They hand paint. They use three layers on the Symphony here, which is the Symphony. turquoise one. They use five layers on the Nebula. Nebula. And, uh, and they're applying each one of these colors. And it takes about 24 hours for each layer to dry. So it's like three to five days just for the painted portions of so the it's pen. Like, it's like Russian maquillage. Uh, sort of. <laughs> I don't know if technically it's considered maquillage. Uh, but yeah, kind of essentially that's what Yeah, I mean, you're, you're laying, letting it dry, layering, letting it dry. Yeah. And, uh, you know... So this one is done on the end. So this one is a, a little yeah. bit more affordable than that one. It just depends on yeah. how long Pure it layers. takes. Yeah, yeah, so this, yeah, the Symphony, the Nebula. Mm -hmm. um, also number six nibs on these, so that's new. Exactly. And at first we hesitated about carrying these pens because the price is a little bit higher. You're looking at 170 for the Symphony and 200 for the Nebula. So we were like, okay, right off the gate with Banu, we're not gonna carry these because we wanna kind of dip our toes in the water with this brand. Right. Um, but the, you know, it's been was received pretty well overall, even with the other ones that have number five nibs, these have number sixes and we were like, okay a little bit more of a sure bet for us on these. One of my favorite things about the Supreme is that while they are kind of wild and crazy looking compared to your more traditional fountain pens, they're not as wild and crazy looking compared to the other Banu line. Right. Like the they Banu actually look somewhat subdued. Compared yeah, to some exactly. Of the other and I like that. And so <laughs> if you like the little bit of the wildness of the Banu line, but the actual body style of the other pens aren't mm -hmm. quite your jam, these very well might be. The step in the grip is a whole lot less severe than some of the other Banu pens that we, yeah. we carry. It's very comfortable. It feels pretty well in the hand, too. You can post it pretty easily. Yeah, just looking at the profile, like that looks like a normal mm -hmm. fountain pen. Yeah, and the threads are really, um, I don't know, not sharp. They're really they're, kind of rounded. They're kind of flat. They, they, yeah. they don't come to a, a point or a ridge or anything yeah. like that. So, so they're yeah. flat threads, very, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And the uh, again, yeah, the, the profile is more traditional than a lot of the other Banu pens. Some of the other Banu pens look like, you know, uh, cosmetics or something like that that you, right. you know, have out of your purse. Exactly. This more looks more well, like this a This one does kind of look like a I guess like it could, yeah, yeah, you kind of could say that. Something. Uh, the <laughs> clip is attached to a ring that actually goes around the entire cap, which is a really cool feature. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Mm -mm. But that really, they, uh, they really, rather than having the, you know, it go into a hole or something like that, they make it an uh, aesthetic right, bonus. Put it right out there. Hang yeah. it all out there. The Supreme, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the, nebula. the Nebula has a glittery element up at the top of the cap too, which yeah. again, you know, a little bit of a higher price on that, more attention to detail on yeah, that it's one. It's got black glitter kind of throughout, but then it's more intense right at the top. I don't mm -hmm. know if you can get that, Andy, but um, it's very cool. And if you look at it, this is going to be impossible to capture on camera, so we won't try, but um, if you look at it, the top of it from the side, you can actually see there's like a thick layer. Yeah, this one um, too. All the way through yeah, it. this yeah. one too. It's it's really neat. So it's like you can almost see the, I don't know if that's just It's the, like the uh, finished coating. That the they clear coat, on. yeah, mm -hmm. on top of everything. Yeah, so it's really durable. Even though it's got the hand painting on there, it's well coated, so you're not going to have to worry about it like scratching off, leaking off or anything They're like really, that. really cool pens. And yeah. the nibs are Schmidt, right? Schmidt, yeah, which I think is either made by Bach or Yovo. Um, I don't know if Schmidt actually manufactures their own nibs. I think they're sourced. I think they share a factory from somewhere, yeah. yeah but so they're really nice writing nibs, really consistent writing experience, German-made, and uh, the feeds are really reliable as well. Yeah. They're the same feeds that you see on a lot of um, uh, Yovo-made nibs. So mm -hmm. I don't think Yovo makes their own feeds, but you see kind right. of the same uh, feeds attached to them from... 
uh, for the most part. Either, Either way, way, yeah, the writing experience German was really quality. nice. Yeah, yeah, the writing experience was really nice. And I enjoyed it. And it comes in the typical Banu packaging, which smells surprisingly good. It's I don't fragrant. know. I we, we <laughs> sniffed these boxes last time, and I don't. I didn't. I didn't. You don't, get you don't it. feel it? I don't. Th maybe it's I got just... the little like Easter Easter basket package. There you in there. <laughs> I don't know. It just reminds me of Easter basket. I don't know why. It's nice. They're really cool pens. Though. I'm really excited to have them online. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So let us know what you think of these. Um, I think. Uh, they're pretty interesting, and we haven't had a lot of kind of hand-painted pens, especially that have been in this price range. Eyedropperable too, right? Uh, they are, yes. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Glad you mentioned that. Yes, they are eyedropper Or Do they come pre-greased? This one's a little oily. Is it a little greasy? Yeah. A little greasy? I don't know. They might have done it. Either way, there's, a, there's you know, nice, safe, waterproof barrel here. Yep. A lot of nice, fine threads there. Perfect for eyedropping with a little bit of silicone grease and an exactly. O-ring if you feel like it. There you go. So you can learn more about these on GouletPens.com. Let us know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and right on.